on my way to Brooker Creek Preserve. It's really beautiful here. Let's see if I can hold this camera nicely so you can actually see. Last time I was here, I saw deer, tortoise, every kind of bird known to man. A mother had a baby fawn with her. And they're not shy because this is a preserve, so they're not gonna be shot. I guess there's not a lot of predators. There's probably some. I wish I could just stop and paint on the side of this road here, but you're not really allowed to, unfortunately. But there's so many beautiful things. Do you see it, Matthew? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> he's little. Yeah, he's a baby. That's good. His tail moving and ain't nothing else working. His legs underneath, though. He That's how he that. does it. He just kind of lets the legs hang there and let the tail propel him through the mm -hmm. water. Let's see if he puts his head up. His head is as well as up as he's going to get. I, I already got a picture of his head. Okay. Cool. Now he's backing up. Puts his feet forward in the back so he goes backwards. There he goes. I guess he's looking for some food or something. Careful, ants coming. Just hanging out playing. Let's see. Where my buddy at? I'm going to paint this scene over here in just a small panel, just that little one there. Here's my setup. It's just gorgeous. There's so many things I could paint. I've painted on this side several times now, so I thought I'd try painting on this side over here. I like the blue reflections in the water, the blue and the green, and the two trees. I think I'll probably put the third one in there on the left. This here, this one here, and this one snaking through here, and then the water and the reflections underneath it. So maybe sort of like that. I think that would be beautiful. So here we go. Okay, so what I've basically done here is I'm blocking in and by doing this I'm wiping out my reflections are going to be down here from the trees there's going to be a big tall tree here another big tall tree here they bend and turn they're very interesting then there's some smaller trees through here smaller trees that will be in here which I'll put in Lots of green reflections back here, lots of deep darkness through here and lighter through here. I want you to kind of travel through, even though the trees are the star, the reflection and the effect of the light back here is what I want you to look at. And I want these trees to lead you in there. So we'll see how we do. We're gonna start out just with a little bit of burnt sienna trees coming in. You can see they're gonna be darker. I want it coming through here. Then it's gonna bend. And then you're gonna see the reflection in the water here. I'm afraid my actual paint is gonna fall off of here. I'm trying to smoosh it down. Stay, stay, stay. It's pretty hot out here today. Second tree is behind it and we'll deal with that later. This tree I wanna be careful with because I'm actually gonna put it in with some of the purple 
it's a lighter tree. It's big, but it's light. The reflections are very dark in the water here. They're almost black. So that doesn't look like much, but that's the beginning of my composition. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm doing this very expressionistically. The two little paintings are going to be done this way because I just want to have fun. I don't care about the competition. But when I get to the big one, I'll have to be very precise. And that's less fun. It's not really my style of painting, but if I want to try to compete, I have no options. <laughs> so this one is for me. Am I catching it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I've got kind of the idea of what I wanted here. This will get a little touch up tomorrow when I come back. Now to get started on the second painting, I have to move to a second location on another side of the park. And here's my subject which I managed to block in, and I'll come back tomorrow to paint the rest. I think trees, are some of the most interesting things in the world. I just love painting them. Every one of them is different. They have their own character. Look at this giant that fell down. It looks like it had to be cut down because it had a big hole in the middle. It's just an amazing place out here. But you have to be able to tolerate nature. And I'm telling you, I've never seen flies that bite like these out here. They're huge and they're the color of bees, but they're not bees. They land on you and they bite you. So I am completely covered right now. I'll show you what I look like. Maybe, I don't know if you can see or not. I have long sleeve shirt on, long pants, boots, so that nothing bites my feet and I don't turn my ankle. I have a hat that I will be able to clamp shut. All this so I can paint in this competition crazy anyway off we go i've got all my stuff this is my second day at brooker creek working on the same two paintings out here i have a little bit more i want to do on the little one it's almost done pretty much thought i was finished with it yesterday but took a look at it and thought no maybe just a few more little things here and there. I want to move one tree over a tiny bit in it because I really wanted those two tops of the trees to kind of touch each other and it's not, or at least come together. And I painted more of a close up of the bottoms. So I'm gonna push it back just a little, if that makes any sense. And then the big one has to get worked on. I'm about halfway through it. So we'll get that done. Anyway, back to the painting process. I have to walk quite a ways in here to get where I want to paint. This is the one spot I know that has buildings there's a restroom and there's an education center here. I don't know if there's buildings anyplace else on all these acres. There's unbelievable amount of acreage back here. It's shocking to people who come to visit who have never seen an alligator or a tortoise or a deer. 
every species of plant is in here. You can paint dried up palm trees. You can paint the little flower that's sitting right here. I mean, and there's one of those bees that tries to bite people. Ah, I'm out of here. Okay, wait, I have to see where I'm going. This way. You can get lost in here very easily. And this is the friendly, easy area. If you were to walk through the woods, you could be lost for days. Anyway, I'll let you know how the painting's going. I probably can't film much of it because I have to hurry. I'm only gonna be here two or three hours and I cannot spend the whole time trying to film, but I'll take periodic pictures here and there if I can. This is something I really was interested in painting yesterday. I didn't take any pictures of it though. It's this purple flower right there. It's gorgeous. Anyway, we'll tune in again and let you see what's happening. So, I guess I need to move this umbrella. Okay, that's about the best I can do. There is still some sun hitting it. The sun is behind me right now. It's killing me. But I'm always complaining about the heat, I know. Florida. I'm from the north originally. Anyway, yes, I've exaggerated my colors a little bit more than the actual scene. I can always tone them down, but my job is to make things as beautiful as possible. I can't ever copy nature perfectly, but I want to infatuate the person who looks at the painting. Anyway, I will tune in in a little while to show you where I'm at again. At least I'll try. I'll try to do one or two more times. Oh, I did want to say that one thing that's very important in the painting is these reflections. I need them to be in here. I need them to be dark. So I've concentrated on them some. This one. That one. Now see right there, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on because there's some light on this. There's another one here, here, bends off this way, that one, which is just a little skinny tree, and then this one, which does some kooky thing going that away. And then I'll have some small little skinny ones in here. But the one that I really, really love, that I want to focus on, is this here. So even in the reflection, I'm going to add just a little bit more light in here, a little bit more light in here. To show the light that's hitting that tree from this side. I came out here at the exact same time so that I would hopefully catch the same light. Okay, anyway, onward we go. Okay, I'm daring to take off my gloves for a second here. These bugs are biting bad. Here's where I'm at at this point. I probably have about another hour or so to paint out here. This may be my last time filming, we'll see. I also wanted to show you what I did on the little one, uh, which is pretty much finished, I think. So let me get that out and show it to you. You know, you think when you come out here, you should bring the coldest water there is so that you don't get too hot. You want to cool yourself off. I'm looking while I'm talking because there was a little alligator that swam over there and I thought maybe I could show it to you. Anyway, if you bring really cold water, I don't know about other people, but I get a brain freeze. It's too cold for me. I'm about to leave. It was really dark a minute ago, but the sun's back out again. I just can't impress upon you how beautiful it is out here. Let me 
show you just every little scene is more beautiful than the next. It's amazing. And I don't want to drop this in the water. <laughs> but you can look over the side sometimes and just see little alligator swimming in the water. Let's go over here. One just swam across here. This place is full of them. So that's it for me out here at Brooker Creek. I might go to Anderson Park and do a painting there, but probably not. Getting ready to pack up. Or I guess I have everything set my easel done now. You know, I've always wished for my own pets that they could live a normal, healthy, happy, free life. Even my birds, I wish I could let them go and let them be as happy as all the other birds outside. But the fact is they would die. They're domesticated. But when I drive through a place like this and I see all this nature, I cannot get beyond the beauty of it. I have to take a picture of this. Okay, coming up are the paintings in their frames, ready to be okay, judged. Promised. There's a little painting there, and there's a big painting there. And to be very honest with you, the one that I like the most is the little painting. This is more my style. This is more how I paint for a competition. What does that mean? Well, if you want to win in a plein air competition, there has to be more detail but I really like detail implied. You can't see much here, but when you step back, you know you're looking at a very densely forested place. But this painting was all about the reflections and the light right on the trees and right under the trees. So the effect of the light that's on that grass that's right underneath there and the hay and the twigs So we'll see how we do. I wish myself luck.